In the realm of networking, SD1 or software defined wide area network is making waves. Imagine your network but smarter, more flexible and significantly more efficient. That's SD1. It takes traditional networking approach and elevates it using software to make decisions based on traffic, availability and even security. By centralizing network control, SD1 allows for intelligent routing. It's like best GPS for your data, steering it clear from congestion and bottlenecks. This results in improved performance and reduced costs. So, when it comes to building a network that's not just robust, but also feature-ready, SD1 might just be a way. Remember, in the world that's constantly changing, adaptability is everything. And that's the essence of SD1. In this video we are going to convert this lab with current singular exit to SD1 with emulating multiple ISP connections. Let's get started. Before you start changing anything, don't forget to take a snapshot. Ok, so we are going to start with adding another switch to our dashboard. And we can straight away rename it. Sv ok and let's make it prettier a little bit and the connections are going to be from port 2 to gigabit 0 slash 1 and gigabit 0 slash 0 Next we are going to add cloud, but this time it is not going to be a, on local computer, it is going to be GNS3 virtual machine itself. So let me explain how we are going to emulate second ISP for our SD1 lab. Let's connect it first and connection will go to Ethernet 1. Ok, we can quickly start this switch up and now let me explain you how we are going to emulate under the ISP connection to keep this lab as real as possible. Now let's open VMware Workstation and Virtual Network Editor and I'm going to add another virtual interface VMnet 9 will be just fine and I am going to bridge this VMnet 9 to my Wi-Fi adapter click OK And in GNS3 virtual machine settings, I'm going to reassign current virtual adapter and change it for VMnet 9, which is bridged to our Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, now let's quickly open network connections. And this is Wi-Fi adapter which we bridged and we are going to connect the hotspot created on my mobile phone and just like this you can emulate second ISP in your home lab. Be aware though, using mobile hotspot will consume your data and I'm going to use it only temporary for these lab purposes. Ok, this is the Ethernet connection which we are already using in our lab. And this is the Wi-Fi connection which we are going to use as our secondary ISP. And since we have changed adapter settings on GNS3 virtual machine, I would recommend to stop this lab and restart the PC. In fact, let's do it right now. Once your PC is restarted, we are going to configure FortiGate from this virtual machine as usual. So let's jump to our Kali Linux. Let me quickly look into the FortiGate. gate. 
And let me show you interfaces, especially one port one. And when you take a look on the ref number here, you will get the point why even Fortinet recommends to start with the SD1 configuration in uh, early stages. All up is just in the baby stages and uh, port 1 is already referenced 7 times. As you can imagine, switching between classic configuration and SD1 is going to be progressively harder in time. Here I would recommend to make a screenshot or take a notes, because if you want everything what we have done here so far to work correctly, we need to return back to these parts and reconfigure them. In order of port 1 becoming member of SD1 virtual interface, all references need to be removed, so now I'm going to remove them. I'm Captain Lou Albano talking about drugs. Kids, don't be afraid to say no. Anyone that asks you to use drugs is not your friend. Drugs can and will kill. Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister, your moms, your dads, your teachers, because drugs can kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Please. Removing port 1 from HA monitor interfaces needs to be done either. Although this is just a temporary. Of course, port 1 needs to be removed even from OSPF configuration. Once we have cleared out references for port 1, we are ready to configure SD1 zone, but before we do that, let's quickly adjust port 2. Ok, port 2 is going to have name 1-2 and addressing mode is going to be THCP and because it is connected to the Wi-Fi network, we are all cloud here it is going to receive the HCP address and let's quickly refresh it as expected we have received IP address from here we are going to switch to traffic forwarding VDOM, which is root in uh, our case. And let's jump to SD1 configuration. Once you are in SD1 configuration window, you can see there is a default pre-configured virtual one link. As you can see, it does not have icon and it is not going to show up in the list. I will show you what I mean in the moment. Because I want SD1 zone with my custom name, I'm going to create two new zones. First one is going to be named CMD. As you can see, icon has appeared, which means the virtual one link is going to appear in the list. And let's create another zone and we can name it test. As you notice, this one does not have icon, so let's edit CMD and let me show you what I meant.
Okay, as a first interface member is going to be port 1. And we are going to select SD1 zone here. As you can see, the test is not here. Gateway. Gateway is going to be port G1 slash 0. And IP address of G1 slash 0 is 10.100.10.4. So let's add the gateway here. And this is OK. You can add port 1. And let's create port 2. And because of port 2 have dynamic IP assignment, the gateway is also going to be dynamic. SD1 zone, switch to CMD. And just like that, we are done with this. Add port 2. And we have created our fun functional SD1 zone. After zone creation, the next step would be configure routing. So let's do that. We are going to create a new static route. And interface selected is going to be our SD1 zone. And just like this it is OK. And of course after this we need to recreate the policies which will allow the traffic flow. The policy which is allowing access to internet is going to look like almost identical as before, except this time we are going to select SD1 zone as egress interface. And since we are here, I am going to add everything else which is missing, following the list which I previously recommended for you to save. DMZ out is allowing access for our web server to reach out. And of course, let's allow access for our VDOM. Ok, now the last policy which is missing is a policy which is allowing access to our web server. For that we are going to need configured VIP uh, object, so let's do that. Create new, name will be same as before. Web server interface can stay any. External range is going to be 10.100.10.3 and it is mapped to IP address 172.16.12.51 and forwarding is going to be same as before 8080.80. Okay, this is uh, just about fine. Now let's return back to Fire policy and we are going to create access from outside to our web server. Name will be 
web server incoming interface is going to be our sdvan zone outgoing interface is going to be dmz source for everybody destination is going to be our vip object which we have created and the service is going to be HTTP and HTTPS but I'm going to edit HTTP this time and add 8080 because we have a port mapping there ok just verifying close and NAT should be disabled in order to make this work and last thing which we need to do is add interfaces to the HA monitoring so let's do that switch the configuration mode to global and it is going to be in system HA and let's change it here and because we have added port 2 into the mix I would also recommend to add port 2 keep this video short I would like to finish it up with showing you routing table on FortiGate with command get router info routing table routing table all as you can see dynamically learned route via OSPF has been replaced with uh, or a SD1 static configuration which have two exits and it has some distance and some priority which means the traffic is going to be load balanced between those, those two egress interfaces okay I'm going to show you the rest of the things in the next video so stay with me it is going to be awesome and thank you for watching see you next time guys